Good evening, David. Welcome to your speaking test for Ting Ai. Lop 7, okay? Speaking test for Unit 7. Are you ready? Ready, okay. Kindly speak a little bit louder, okay? So now first, let's talk about the means of transportation. Now, David, can you tell me what's this? It's a bike. It's a bus. It's a boat. It's a plane. Okay, well done. Now let's talk about the verb. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Fly by plane. Fly by plane. So I'm on a boat. Sail on a boat. Get on a bus. Okay, good. Get on a bus. Now this time, can you tell me, um, David, how do you um go to school? I go to school by bike. Okay, how do you go to Hanoi? And go to by bus. Mm. How do you go to Katba? I go to Katba by plane. Mm. And how do you go to Ho Chi Minh? I go to Ho Chi Minh City by plane. Okay, well done. Good. Okay, now let's move on to part two. Okay, road signs. Now tell me what road sign is this? No right turn. No right turn. Hospital ahead. No hospital ahead. Uh, hospital ahead. Cycle lane. Cycle lane. No parking. Mm -hmm. School ahead. Mm -hmm. Traffic lights. Okay, well done. So now here, um, David, tell me, okay, based on this sign, in which one is an information, a warning, or a um prohibition okay so now can you tell me which signs give information hospital ahead side and cycle land side very good which sign gives warning school ahead side and traffic glass side okay and which um sign gives prohibition no turn, no right turn side and no parking side. Good. Now on the way to your school, David, what road signs can you see? On the way to school, I can see a traffic light sign. Mm, a traffic light sign. Okay, good. Interesting. Okay, so now next one. Let's have your phonics, okay? Can you read the following S sound for me? Yeah. Okay, let's start with the S sound. Left. Enter. Ahead. Present. Helicopter. Center. Never. Sit well. Okay, well done. How about the A sound? Plane. Way. Station. Train. Indicate. Mistake. Pavement. Break. Okay, wow, well, good. Now let's move on to sentences. Can you read the sentence for me? It is it is not very far to the railway station. Okay, good. Next one. We must always obey traffic rules for our safety. Okay, well done. Okay, now let's move on to your grammar. Now I will show you some words. Try to make a sentence. 
it is over 100 kilometers from my hometown to Ho Chi Minh City. Good. Next one. It is about 35 kilometers to my grandparents' house. Good. Well done. I used to ride a small bike in the yard outside my flat. Okay, wow, good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the last part of your speaking test, okay, your presentation. Okay, are you ready for your presentation? Yes, okay, you will talk about traffic problems in Vietnam, David. You will talk about an introduction, problem one, problem two, problem three, and, pro uh, and the conclusion. Okay, ready? You may start, David. Mm -hmm. There are three main traffic problems in my city. Firstly, there are too many vehicles on the roads. This can lead to traffic jams, especially in road hours. Too many vehicles can also pollute the air. Secondly, the roads in our city are narrow and bumpy. Therefore, accidents can happen easily if we do not pay attention. The last but not least problem is that some people jump the line. This can cause both accidents and traffic jams. These are the three common traffic problems in our city. So we should be careful when driving on the roads. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done. Okay, congratulations, um, David. Okay, that is the end of your speaking test. Now you can talk about road signs and means of transport. You can use it to talk about distance. Now you know how to use used to. Okay, you know how to pronounce a and a, right? And you can read about traffic rules and you know how to present about your traffic problems. Thank you so much, David. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. <laughs>